Hey, once again, welcome back out here to another episode of Simply Outdoors TV. It's the day before Thanksgiving. We're getting ready to head out hunting, so hopefully when you're watching this on Sunday, we already have a deer on the ground for you. But in this week's episode, we got my stepson Trevor goes out and gets his first deer on film during Michigan's youth hunt this year. And then we go back to last year to ATA, the Archery Trade Association show, and we speak with Stephen Holdress of Icy Tech Coolers and uh, Ted Harpum of uh, Dart and Archery, who is from Michigan. And then last but not least, we take you on a hunt with uh, Justin Southern, one of my pro staffers right here in my hometown of Charlotte, and my sister's fiance, whatever you want to call him. <laughs> Sorry, Justin. But he goes out and actually kills a big buck on film right here in Michigan. It's a great, great episode here at Simply Outdoors TV this week. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. I was born into a family like stuff and fish Granddaddy had a cabin yeah, I can still remember it At least me memories I never forget It makes me smile whenever I think about it's not complicated It's simply outdoors Got the truck loaded up Ready for the weekend There's no other place that I'd rather be Cause this is where my daddy does To a family that likes to hunt and fish. Simple Outdoors TV is brought to you today by these fine sponsors Icy Tech Coolers, Pink Rack Project, Dart and Archery, HHA Sports, Insights Nutrition, True Fire Releases, Range Broadheads, Voodoo Archery. Michigan Deer Tracking Hounds, Nocturnal Light and Knox, Slate River, Stormcloth 2 Outerwear, Skeeter's Batter Mix, Michigan-Sportsman.com, Mosley's Taxidermy, Cargo Buckle, Lacrosse Footwear, Whitetail Farms Processing, Backwoods Bargain Outfitters, Diamond Buck Camel, We Talk Fowl Custom Calls, and TJ's Lanyards. And just newly added to Simply Outdoors TV, Predator Hunter Outdoors. Keep hunting after the sun goes down. All right, in this next clip here, like I said, we're going to take you back here to Michigan's Youth Hunt. Me and Trevor, every time we go out, Trevor, for some reason, never sees a deer when he's with me. We've had a couple close calls. We couldn't quite seal the deal with turkeys. We've had close calls with deer and just couldn't quite seal it. So fellow pro staffer Barry Cooper said, you know what? Take Trevor with me. Trevor will kill a deer. So what do they do? They go out the opening morning. They don't really get on anything. They go out that night. They got a buck on film. Can't quite get a shot at him because it's just out of Trevor's range. And as you'll see in the clip, this doe comes walking in. And Trevor finally, at 13 years old, yeah, 13. I didn't shoot my first deer until I was 19. But at 13 years old, finally gets his first deer on film. And I'd like to thank Barry again, once again, for, for taking Trevor out. And as you can tell in this footage, this kid was ecstatic. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this footage. Seeing deer sleep, uh, sleeping in this woods over here, so uh, 
Predator Hunter Outdoors is proud to introduce our Night Sniper line of hunting LED lights. What makes our light the best value and highest quality on the market? Our bezel and reflector are engineered specifically for extreme distances. Our lights are made from T6 aircraft grade aluminum, which provide heavy recoil and impact resistance. And we have an industry leading warranty on all lights and accessories. At Predator Hunter Outdoors, we're changing the way you hunt. You can find all of our great products and accessories at PredatorHunterOutdoors.com or you can call us at 586-596-3655. That's 586-596-3655. We ship anywhere in the United States and Canada. Pink Rack Project is a nonprofit organization founded by Mike and Bobby Gahn, created to help raise awareness and funds to be used in the fight against breast cancer. The Pink Rack Project, helping with one rack at a time. Visit them on the web at www.pinkrackproject.com. Backwoods Bargain Outfitters, your source for everything outdoors. Located at 22551 North Bedford Road in Battle Creek, Michigan. When it comes to hunting and fishing and camping, Backwoods has it all, including a full indoor archery range to get you ready for that fuck of a lifetime. Looking for a gun? Backwoods sells all types of guns and bows new and used. Backwoods Bargain Outfitters is the official shop of Simply Outdoors TV. Let your next hunting adventure begin and end with Darton Archery, built to hunt. What was that? I don't know. Oh, don't worry about it. It's just Yeti. Icy Tech Coolers, the original premium roto-molded polythylene cooler. That set the standard others aspire to. Icy Tech. Prove performance. Keep your cool longer. <laughs> Bye, Yeti.
sure he hit her, dude. I, did, I thought so, too. I told you I'd been seeing deer in this field. Took a while. It did take a while, but when we got out here early, that buck's still standing over there. Is that the same one from earlier? I'm pretty sure it's the same one. It looked like it. I'm pretty sure. He don't even care. What? He don't even care. Nope. Dude, I just looked up and they were almost all the way over there. See, that one was right behind it, too. Yeah, I know. They I got, they got lined up. I had to get you moved around. You know what? I might have got the shot on the other camera, too. Dirt. They do that sometimes. They get to, they get to looking at you when they ain't been hunted all the while. <laughs> Are you freaking excited? Yeah. I'm freaking excited. <laughs> you tell me about it. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, got my first tear. It is a doe. I shot it. <laughs> <laughs> we were sitting there watching a buck we seen twice tonight. We couldn't get a shot at it. And these, I look up and these, these does have come from our left. Well, Trev's left-handed and I got him on a shooting stick because we were sitting on the ground. So I got to move the shooting stick and then move Trevor. He slides over and he, he tags it. I mean, right here at the ball of the shoulder on a slight quarter two. And you can see it on the video at Roxer. And me and Trev look, we didn't find a drop of blood, not one. I walked up on this deer. I just figured she'd come up here because it's a little more, you know, a little more vegetation on the ground. And got Jade out here, and it's like it, not a not a drop of blood, not one. But uh, I guarantee your shoulders wrecked. But Trevor did an awesome job. Stayed cool. It's tough when you got deer less than 40 yards when you're on the ground. So let's we'll see that smile. Let's we'll see that smile, Trevor, on that first deer. <laughs> Been a long, been a long road, hasn't it, buddy? A little bit. Congratulations, Jada. man. Thanks. Heck yeah! Oh, that was a week. Do that again. There you go. All right. Well, as you can tell, Trevor was pretty pumped about that hunt. That was his first deer, big old doe. And the weird thing was, was it was, it was really tough to find this deer. He, she, she went probably 150 yards with no blood. So I got my tracking dog on it and couldn't pick up blood and we just kind of scoured the area and kind of looked and Barry actually walked up on that deer which was kind of cool so we were a little little worried that Trevor wasn't going to find his first deer but once he found it he was he was pretty ecstatic so once again I'd like to thank Barry Cooper and not sure his land we were on but I'd like to thank them too for taking my son out and getting his uh first deer on film nothing shines quite like a diamond shimmering diamonds makes a diamond's unique sparkle unforgettable an innovative setting technique allows the diamond to be in motion, so every move she makes is reflected in its everlasting shimmer. With an array of styles and prices, Shimmering Diamonds is sure to be loved and admired. When she's wearing Shimmering Diamonds, nothing will shine quite like her. Make her sparkle at your hometown jeweler. Skeeter's Battered Up Batter Mix, your all-in-one light batter fry mix. Available in original, mild Cajun, lemon mustard, full flavored, gluten free. Looking for that batter mix the whole family will love? Skeeter's is the one. Great on fish, seafood, chicken, fries, and vegetables, and just about everything that's wild game. Make sure you order yours today at www.skeetersbatteredupsales.com. Predator Hunter Outdoors is proud to introduce our Night Sniper line of hunting LED lights. What makes our light the best value and highest quality on the market? Our bezel and reflector are engineered specifically for extreme distances. Our lights are made from T6 aircraft grade aluminum, which provide heavy recoil and impact resistance. And we have an industry leading warranty on all lights and accessories. At Predator Hunter Outdoors, we're changing the way you hunt. You can find all of our great products and accessories at PredatorHunterOutdoors.com or you can call us at 586-596-3655. That's 586-596-3655. We ship anywhere in the United States and Canada. All right, in a sec, we're going down the ATA Trade Show. Now, for those of you that aren't familiar with ATA, is ATA is Archery Trade Association, which is a big, big organization that every year has a big trade show. And basically, anybody that's anybody in the archery business, and then some, 
is there. So you got, you know, anywhere from guys with, you know, deer scents to blinds to, you know, bows to arrows to everybody that's anybody's there, including media guys like myself and other way bigger names than we'll ever dream of being <laughs> are there. So we go down there, hang out. We actually hang out with uh, Stephen Holder from Icy Tech. And then we talk to Ted Harpum from Dart and Archery, which I've said is out of Hale, Michigan, right here in our home state of Michigan. And they're one of our great bow sponsors. And Stephen will tell you a little bit more about what actually goes on with Icy Tech coolers and why they're such a great cooler company. So sit back, relax, enjoy. All right, once again, welcome back out here to Simply Outdoors TV. We're here at the ATA show in Louisville, Kentucky. I'm here with Stephen Holdis of uh, Icy Tech Coolers. And he's going to tell us a little bit yeah. about the good friend of mine, too. We're going to tell you a little bit about the Icy Tech Coolers and about how they're different from some other coolers on the market. Well, Ice Tech's the original rotor-molded polyethylene cooler. Uh, came in originally in 1993, market leader through 2008, where for some market reasons they withdrew for three years. They're now back. Uh, high performance coolers took them on 15 months ago. Building the brand back up, happily this is our first time at ATA, well worth it. And through the good works of people like yourselves and our friends at Simply Outdoors, we're making some really good inroads getting into that market. Big thing, polyethylene coolers, durability, keeping your ice, protecting your investment when it goes and spending those bucks out hunting, getting your meat, getting it home in one piece. We've, we've used them this year out in Montana, you know, 90 degree heat, we've used them in Canada on bear hunts and you know, fishing trips and we've had nothing but great success. Barry was actually one of our guys who was on Colorado for a while and he was looking for seven days using blocked ice and they actually had ice left over for seven days and using this cool. So um, make sure you check them out. What is your actual website? Website, easy one is uh, the regular www.icey-tech.com or hpcoolers.com. Yeah, but you can look them up on Facebook, all. awesome. Love to have you visit us. Well, thanks for having us and uh, Thank you, check Jeff. them out, Icy Tech Coolers. Simply outdoors. All right, once again, we're back out here at the ATA show, 2013 in Kentucky. I'm here with Ted Harpum from Dart and Archery. He's going to tell you a little bit today about what's going on with Dart and Archery here in 2013. Well, Jeff, thanks a lot. Boy, I'm glad you guys stopped by because it's been exciting at the Dart and Archery. This place is backed out. Oh, it's, this is one of the new crossbows that we've got for 2013. It's the Dart and Viper. Uh, some of the unique features on this bow, real quick, it's 17 inch axle to axle. It's got the new Hypercam cam system on it. It has a, the, the new trackless barrel. So some of the, these are the things that no other archery company has done with crossbows yet. Uh, we've actually moved the stirrup back into the riser a little bit, so it's balanced the bow out so much better. The bow weighs about eight pounds. We've taken the new uh, bolt retainer spring. Instead of moving it out forward, we've moved it backwards. So now you never get tangled up in this coming underneath you. So some of the new features here in the front part of this bow is the trackless barrel, 17 inch axle to axle, uh, the new stirrup, the new riser. Coming back into the receiver, we now have an ambidextrous receiver, so it can be put on both sides, left and right. We have a three pound trigger pull, uh, so the bow is just really designed now. It's, it's, it's crazy good. Uh, it's got the anti-drive fire built into it. It's done in the next generation, uh, and we've also added soft touch. So, I mean, it's really have got uh, some good stuff. And then the compounds. Gotta love these compound bows. We use a 3800, this is a 2800 compound. And Fast, smooth, reliable, great bows. I see you guys rounded off a little bit of the edges this year. New risers, yeah. We've done a lot of riser design on this bow. We put new limb pockets on this bow. We've actually, on the 3800, lowered the shelf a little bit, so you got 100% level knock travel again. So it's really been, uh, been a great year so far. Well, thank you. Thanks for talking with us, Ted. Thanks, Jeff. Well, as you can see, it's always a great time down at ATA. We have a good time down there. End up going out to dinner with everybody, and it's nice to hang out with some of your sponsors and people that you only get to see during emails and talking on the phone. And it's it's always a fun weekend. And this year is going to be a great weekend down in Tennessee. We'll be down there July or January fifth through January eighth. So you guys are in the area. You want to step look? You know, look for us. Stop in and say hello. Once again, we're going to rewind back here to October last year with Justin Southern, fellow pro staffer, goes out, puts another giant nine point on the ground. This spot he has here in Southern Michigan produces big bucks every year. And, you know, like my brother says, it must be nice to have property like this. But he, he gets it done. He gets it done this year again with a Dart in 3800. It's the first week of October. And he puts him down on the six, which he says he's been chasing him all year. But the funny thing is, is he's seen him like 
three or four times, I think, in that time, and finally got a, a crack at him. Self-filming, mind you. And you guys know how hard self-filming is. So other than that, we're going to take you back, sit back, relax, and watch this big buck drop on the ground for you. Welcome back here, Simply Outdoors TV. It's October 6th. It's got a real cold front coming in. It's got a pretty cold. Tonight it's supposed to be a little 33, tomorrow night 31. So we've got some pretty active scrapes over here to the, the right of us. I've seen a monster buck out of here the other day, so we're back at this spot again. We're going to try it out. Stick with us. Scrape over here. It's been a hot spot. I've seen him in here once before. I know I got him that time. Yes. Well, I just got down. Start looking for some blood. Got good blood right here in front of me. Real good blood trail. We're gonna track a little further and see what we got. Might decide to back out for a little bit, but it's been a little while, so stick with us. All right, once again, that's going to wrap up another episode of Simply Outdoors TV. Hopefully, you guys like this week's episode. We got more big buck action. We got some goose action. We got some ducks coming up here for you pretty soon. Ice fishing. We do everything here at Simply Outdoors, so stay tuned here every Sunday at 1.30 p.m. right here on My18. Thanks for watching. <laughs>